Hey, what's up YouTube? Steamtown Gamer here, and this is the third episode of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Now, I have not put down the controller at all. I have simply fallen in love with this game. It's fantastic. Uh, the graphics are so good, the environment, the atmosphere is just incredible. I am really, really loving it. So, I have played a little bit of a head. Uh, obviously, we have to try to avoid the wolves. Now, I thought that we had to scare the wolves off. Oh, we do have to scare the wolves off with this. Okay, let me just try this. We go up. And obviously we don't let our brother go into the darkness. That's what we had to do. You see, I thought we had to sort of go around the wolves the second time. I played, this is the third attempt. The first attempt, I went straight up to the wolf. I thought that exposing it to the fire would scare it off. Turns out it didn't. It turned around and bit us and we died. Second time... Uh, we thought we could sneak around it. Turns out the wolf will basically just follow you around and, of course, take you out. So that is what just happened. Once again... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. I, I was literally just saying, once again, the control systems are very complicated. The brother had simply got ahead of us a little bit. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That sucked. Wow. Okay, so we physically have to hit the wolf with the flame to scare it away. But if we just start waving it around, it will push them back. That's probably what we should have done at some point. Like, because the controller is basically split in half between one to each brother, it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. You can do it, but it's kind of difficult and you can't really maintain the pace. Especially when the brothers start to separate and sort of zigzag over each other. Then it just... It's very confusing. I've never seen a control system like this before. And it is very unique in this way. At least... Oh. Oh my... Okay. Oh, okay. That... Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That would explain why the game is rated M. I mean, it was so beautiful near the start. Like, like Bambi, you know, his mum died, it was sad, but it was still a very childlike game, but wow. I mean, I mean, I just got no other words. Uh, they're just hanging there. They've had sacks over their heads, which obviously is not some sort of suicide. They're not fake. These are real. And it was not the wolves, so... Something else is much, much worse in this forest. Witches, we're talking witches, possibly trolls. I know that we've already been through the trolls, but I mean, just, I, I did not expect that. Oh, a graveyard, someone has lit candles. I'm going to say witches. I'm just going to go ahead and just say uh, witches is the... Strong theory I've got at this point in time. Okay, he threw away the torch, indicating that we don't need to sneak anymore and we can actually move faster. Uh, I'm shocked. I'm still shocked. This game was so sweet and innocent to some extent. I mean, we had problems with the ogre thing and... I mean, just... Uh, I'm flabbergasted. I've got no words. So we need to get through there. We see a lock. We're probably not going to get in there. Someone's coming. Okay. This 
is obviously the groundskeeper. The headstones, the way they're so jam-packed, they obviously represent people who died, but no bodies are buried there. Thank you. Oh, lanterns. As you know, um, you know the Chinese lanterns when they set them across the water, they indicate like they're supposed to be like for the spirits or something like that. So someone's letting these candles going, and it's a real nice touch. Apple candles got lost. This one's underwater, but still lit. I don't know how that's happening. Who knows how long these candles have drifted, you know? So we found where they all end up, down that waterfall, into some big lake of some kind. Okay, that's where we came from, we've got to go down that way, alright, alright. Oh, these control systems, I mean the... the environment uh, settings are a little weird like they get stuck a bit easy a little too easy for the the graphics indicate that it's more well made but yeah they are getting stuck a little easier than what they should however this game is just an incredible spirit uh, experience and I ha I can't believe I've never even heard of it well actually I know exactly why I haven't heard of it because it's not in English that's exactly why I haven't heard of this game. It obviously didn't take off in this side of the planet because it's just not in English. Simple as that. But you know what? You don't really need it to be in English. It, it doesn't even have English like subtitles. It's just completely in Swedish. At least as far as I can tell, it's Swedish. It's said that it's made by the... Uh, vision of some Swedish director okay he made it Of course, he gets the waterfall one. He did not grab the thing I thought he was going to grab. That looks weird, very weird. That looks like hands. Now that could be a very strong indication that they all look like hands. They're moving to me. Wow, uh, wow, that is 
pretty intense. Oh man. This is messed up. This is really messed up. Oh man. This Oh oh no. Oh. Oh. Now I know how those people died. The trees did it. Oh man. Wow. That that's so messed up. Okay, the big brother is no help. I let go. I'm not sure what causes this. The brother. Okay, yeah, I didn't activate the brother's um, secondary feature. Wow. Those are just, I mean, they're so messed up. We don't, have, we know exact, oh, oh. We know exactly how those people died, although they were bound uh, in sacks, so I'm not too sure exactly, but this forest is definitely messed up. It's cursed. Look, those things are everywhere. Everywhere. They're just hanging there. They just, they just want to do harm to me. Man. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I've got no words. I've got no words for just how messed up this is. Wow. Uh, come on, move faster. Swim faster. Oh, good, I made it. I thought I had died, but turns out it's just a cutscene. Okay, it turns out he's all good. Oh, I forgot that I have to move both of them at the same time. Another one of those lanterns. The music is starting to get creepy. That, hey, there's something in the water. Oh, is it? Is that their mum? How are they not freaked out by this? It is their mum. Obviously the little brother's hallucinating it because the big brother has no idea what's going on. Is it the Latin? It's 
zooming in. Okay, she's looking at me, watching my every move. She seems very content. Uh, no emotion whatsoever. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to interact with... Every time I hit interact, it just zooms in on the father. But there are no other buttons. He literally has two buttons, which is the uh, joystick and R2. That's it. Maybe I'm supposed to get the... Um... Yeah, every time I hit it, it takes me straight back to him. I don't know what to do. Now the brother is completely unresponsive. Okay, brother's not going to snap out of it. So, oh, okay. Turns out I had to interact with mother a bit. She's no longer, no, she's still watching me. Maybe it's symbolic. Maybe the brother has still got some... I basically knew that he was going to wake up to his brother basically doing CPR of some kind or trying to wake him up. But he might be... He might feel that his brother is angry at him because of what happened to the mother. I mean, it was probably the little kid's fault that she drowned. So I knew that was all a dream. I knew that uh, when the brother started beating him up that he was just going to wake up to the CPR. But obviously it's very um, representative of things. The mother being so content. Uh, I don't really know what that means. Obviously uh, the, the father in the clutches of the mother indicating that he is probably going to die soon and maybe be together. But she had no reaction on her face. Um, that person's committing suicide. This game is so dark. Oh, okay. He, he died. Oh, man. This game was so dark. I mean, I could have saved him, I think. Uh, I climbed on there, but I had no... I, I tried to interact with anything. He wouldn't interact with anything. Look, there's more bodies here. And they're burnt, and this house is burnt. Oh no. I think that was his family. He was out or something, and the house burnt down. And they died, so he's... Oh. 
Oh, that's so bad. Look, yeah, look, he's actually, you can see the uh, footprints from the ashes where he's walked up here. I remember his feet are filthy as well. So, oh man. I did not know what to do. I did not know what to do. Oh. I tried to maybe put the chair back under him. I tried to. I can't do anything. I, I can't do anything. That's all we can do. Just walk out there. Yeah, but my guess is, well, theory, is that that was his family. He was just not in the house when it burnt down, and he committed suicide. I can't get across that at all, but he, the little brother should fit through the bars over here, grab onto that. And let's go. You will then just simply go back down here and pull the switch at the same time, I think. That sounds about right. Ah, oh, because he's got a little handle, because the big switches have to be done by the brother, but the small ones can be done by both of them. Okay, so this has to go all the way up first. I don't know why, but okay. There we go. Ta da! So, this game, I am just really, really loving this game. I really am. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's also horrifically dark. Much darker than I thought it was. I mean, that guy committed suicide, and those tree things were horrifying. Oh! Uh, maybe some castle. It looks possibly like people are still living in there. We know that the uh, dwarves of some kind, once again theorized, we just saw the statues, built that massive mine which was overtake overrun by the trolls now this game i would actually consider this game to be a somewhat of a horror game because like when i do a horror week this game might actually make it in there Granted, not the, like the first part, but when we get to the forest and stuff, that is when this game got so dark. It was horrible. And I love it. Oh, because um, anyone who's ever watched my YouTube channel knows that I love dark games. Horror games, scary games, things like that. Glory games, whatever. Whatever's dark, whatever's terrifying, I'm into. And this game has made the cut. Looks like they get through to the uh, where they need to go. There's no direct path there, or really any kind of path. It's all just 
unexplored territories and you just go the uh, the way less dense. Those are billy goats. I was half expecting to get sort of like, oh, oh, fun! I'm gonna try that. Yeah! Oh, just when this game seems so dark, so miserable, it has riding goats. That is that is very good. Oh, he can ride goats too. Hang on, what's this? Yeah! They're goats. Does that mean that they can um, climb things that you couldn't normally climb? Let's go back. Ah, yes, look. Haha! -ha. I had no idea that this path was here. I was just thinking, you know, billy goats, they climb to the tops of mountains and stuff. So, let's just go back and see if there's an extra trail. And there was! This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. And it's a lot easier to control the brothers as well, like this. It's all pretty much automatic. It's almost like it's on a set path. Thanks, Goaty. That was very fun. If anything bad happens to those goats, um... Oh! That's, that flying machine's actually in the cover. Somehow the boys get a hold of that flying machine. Will he give it to us just for helping him out? We're gonna find out right after... Now, okay. So we're going to pick up this gear, which is a big-ass gear. Obviously, it needs to go there. I think that he is stranded. He can't get to the next level because... Hmm. He can't jump with the gear. I had no idea that he could throw it to him. I had no idea. I did that completely by accident. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know we could do that. I didn't know. I just did that by accident. I just threw him across and I was like, okay, let's put down the gear and then jump across. And then it, it threw it to him automatically. <laughs> that was so, so cool. I mean, yeah. Now, obviously he can't cross that. Phew. I don't even think he's throwing it to him. I think he's just throwing it in general. So we've got to put that in here. And then we both have to turn this. Simple enough. I like the whole concept of the wine barrel technology. Sorry, it is a little difficult to do things. All right, we helped him, he helps us, let's go. He's got a nice little pad here. Very modern, very new. It's not like in pieces or in shambles. He seems to be doing quite well for himself. Yeah, 
Okay, I don't know what he wants us to do. Maybe we could explore? Maybe we could just use it. It sounded like uh, he agreed for us to use it. Let's go ahead and use this telescope though. See a bell. This looks very much still intact. Uh, a lot of fallen apart things on the bridge. The bridge has seen better days, but the inside looks pretty good. Is the only way to get there to fly? Because that's obviously part of a huge bridge assembly, but it seems to have just degraded over time. There was once a big ass bridge and now it's gone. Okay, let's do this. Come on, I've been waiting. I mean, this is on the cover of the game, or the back of the cover, I should say. back and forth adjusting the weight much like a skateboard you would you would lean one way or another to slightly adjust the trajectory and to straighten it out you have one boy at one end and the other boy at the other This is really fun, I must say. The graphics are just incredible. Oh no. We're gonna make it. I'm not sure, I think we have to land. Okay, we don't land there. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we have to try that again. Uh, yeah, that sucked. I mean, that end part kind of sucked because I just slightly winged it, literally. I did not, that's not a pun, I winged, that I winged it, but damn it, I'm trying to control both at the same time. It's not working for me. Here we go. Launch. Oh, I cut that razor thin there. <laughs> okay. Balance out the weight a bit. Oh, uh, nope. Drifting too much to the right. To the left. Straighten her up. There we go. Now, if you recall, this is where the birds fly up from the trees, cutting through the wings. There, I see it.
that thing just fell apart. 